Yeah, Tisha, they've been lighting the love light tree over at Wake Med every Christmas season since 1985. It's a chance for families who've experienced loss at the hospital in the past to come back and help families heal who are experiencing loss in the present. This is not the Christmas Jonathan and Stacy Holly thought they'd be having 11 months ago. Tonight, with candles burning, they were the guests of honor selected to unveil this year's Wake Med Love Light Tree. But last January... January 16th January was 16th. the day I found out that I was pregnant. It was their first pregnancy, and they soon found out there'd be nothing normal about it. But, um, a few weeks later, we found out that there were actually triplets, um, so we were not prepared for that. Couples have a 1% chance of having natural triplets. It's a high-risk pregnancy, and 22 weeks in, Stacy was in the danger zone. Her Wake Med doctor told her she was already dilated. The next week at Wake Med, Stacy delivered Wright, Graham, and Ford, each boy weighing just over a pound. Um, I was concerned about my kids. I was also concerned about my wife. Um, you know, there was some some issues there as well. Um, so, you know, when I got to see them, I was so excited, but also kind of scared. And that's when Stacy and Jonathan met Mallory, Wake Med's family navigator. It's a new experimental position aimed at helping families in crisis navigate the complexities of health care, loss, and healing. Four days after the triplets were born, they were gone. Mallory by the couple's side for every moment. She was there and was an advocate for us, really, from the time we entered the hospital to the time we left. And she even helped us with funeral arrangements. She even was the... Um, the speaker at the funeral service for our babies. Like It's an honor to be welcomed into those families because when you get to know them, when you meet them, you become part of their family. Like the And that's the common bond at Wake Med's tree lighting. All these families have experienced loss. He uh, was involved in a car accident and uh, ended up in the ICU here and lived for five days. Including Colleen and Bill Lee, who in 1985, in honor of their late son Matthew, donated what was then a young tree that's now lit every year as the love light. Tree. They thought about doing a love light tree and they said, would you like it in memory of Matthew? And we said, absolutely. And we'll work hard to raise money for it. And raising money is a huge part of what tonight was all about. The Wake Med Foundation is trying to raise $5 million uh, to help expand the hospital's family navigator program. Stacy and Jonathan are trying to personally raise $25,000 to fund more Mallory's to help families like theirs steer through crises like theirs. If you would like to help, we've got a link to the foundation donor page along with this story over on ABC11.com. Steve Tisha.